Hey, what's good, people? It's your boy Detroit Kool Aid, and I'm coming at you live. Well, yeah, pre recorded. I was thinking about going live, and I switched that at the last second. But hey, you guys already know it's draft day, and Troy Weaver wasted no time with getting the fireworks started. You guys already know how he rolls. We all thought that he was going to come into this draft and get at least one or two more draft picks. He's done that. We were hoping that it would be some first round draft picks. There were second rounders in this trade with Portland which has people a little bit on edge as we are moving closer and closer to the NBA draft. People are starting for the first time to actually doubt uh, Troy Weaver. You know, is that the right thing? How are you feeling going into this draft tonight? Are you starting to doubt Troy Weaver just a little bit, or do you believe, you know what, he has this all under control. He knows what he's doing. We've been there. We've done that. You look at the master plan. This is what I always say. You look at the master plan. You can't necessarily parse all of the small individual pieces. You have to look at what his goal is and if everything he's done so far has fit in. Then you start to realize nothing is insignificant. When we look at past GMs, their moves can be looked at as insignificant in a vacuum because, well, look at the results. If we looked at Joe Dumar's moves as it related to building that 2004 team in a vacuum, some of those moves would make you scratch your head. They really would. Some people thought we didn't get enough back in the Grand Hill trade. Some people thought we didn't get enough back in the trade for Richard Hamilton. Some people thought we were making the wrong signing when we got Chauncey Billups. You know, some people were wondering what was going on when we got Corliss Williamson, even she. People didn't see what was about to happen. They, they could not understand the vision that Joe Dumars had in his head and what he was working towards. Now, are we saying that that always works? No, 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 no. Because we also see how that got Joe Dumars in a lot of trouble on the back end of his career as a GM. You know, so look, with Troy Weaver, you know, I was talking about this with Pistons Thoughts, man. Shout out to Pistons Thoughts. This is the year coming up. This draft, this free agency, this third year is a year where you can really start to see if the vision that Troy Weaver has in place, if it's actually starting to take root, we should see the project that they said they were drafting in Killian Hayes. We should start to see, is that panning out? We should start to see, is Sadiq Bey the star that they think they are? You got you to gotta think about this. That Jeremy Grant trade, how much more is that about the confidence that they probably have in Sadiq Bey than anything that they, that they realize with this trade? Look, how can you give it away the cleanest with just – Getting Jeremy Grant to a destination he wants because we want to set a culture that we treat our players well, even when we are trading them. And we don't have to take back anybody else's junk, yo. Look, it would have been really, really, really nice to get that first round pick. And we probably could have gotten that first round pick from Portland. But what would we have had to take back and would it have been worth it? That's the things that you got to start to think about. And if Troy has a master plan in place and taking back that junk will get in the middle of that or get into the way, you don't do it. So he did the cleanest thing possible, and that was just, hey, I want my cap space, Jeremy Grant to be in a good place, Chauncey Billups, coach of the Portland Trailblazers, has continued to say, and he said, in Detroit, I, I don't necessarily want to continue to coach young players. I'm looking for some more vets. Well, look, man, now you got one in Jeremy Grant. The Pistons paid you guys. Hey, look, bro, they did you a solid, Chauncey. Bro, they did you a solid, my man. They did. And, um, you know, but looking at it in the grand scheme of things, yeah, yeah, I want to see what Troy Weaver does. This does, it, it kind of brings up some other questions, you know, that we're going to ask on the draft lottery show, uh, on the draft show tonight on what we're sports hosting with my homies, man, with the bros, Sean Murphy and Mr. Jeff Iafredi, Mr. Everything. You already know what it is, man. Look, as it relates to, you know, things like Shade and Sharp, you know, when you trade a Jeremy Grant, does that open up the window for high risk, high reward? Because you know they're going to use this cap space to try and get two more solid players, two like high profile, max contract worthy for Detroit, that is, you know, worthy players, maybe Miles Bridges and, and, and DeAndre. Ayton. And I know that there's some people out there who, you know, the book is still out. There's some some, some questions on uh, on Bridges. But nonetheless, you cannot deny that if Troy Weaver goes out there and uses that money to get those two players here, that it's going to work out a lot better. Dog, listen, you could put away your trauma, your PTSD as it relates to, you know, the uh, <laughs> big Gordon and Charlie Villa in the way. But I'm telling y'all, it ain't going to work out that way, man. These are players that are much more high level as it relates to the skill that they bring to the table. And as it relates to Kay Cunningham, Listen, you add those two players to Cade, Sadiq, 
you know, if you don't have to give up Isaiah Stewart in the sign of trade to get a DeAndre Ayton, you add him to that, you, you might have a Killian. You know, this team is not going to be world beaters, but it's going to definitely be better than what you got right now. It's going to be better. It's going to be a team that then you could start talking about as an up and coming team. So, look, this Jeremy Grant trade is not the end of the world. We got to see what Troy Weaver does from here. We got to see how that money is spent. If that money's not spent wisely, then you guys know what? Come back to this. Go in the comments and say, bro, he messed up. Because I'll go in and do a whole nother video and say, look, bro, you Joe Dumars this second half. Joe Dumars, not first half. You know, but, you know, look, rock with it, man. Let me know who you guys think is going to be the pick at number five. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I honestly i am hoping for Jade and Ivy. I, I, I kept going back and forth between Keegan Murray and Jade and Ivy for a while. And then Benedict Matherin crept up the boards. Those are the solid three that you can kind of, uh, you know, think that based on the lines that Troy thinks that that's where he's going to be. Keegan's going to be a safe pick. I didn't, Ivy provides a certain aspect of potential and a mystique there that I just, you know, you just don't know if he's going to be like a superstar or a star uh, you know, or just a, a, a good player, you know, and then there is Benedict Matherin who presents, you know, this nice, you know, um, combination of athleticism, size and three point shooting. You know, he has some things to work on with his playmaking, but Pac-12 player of the year, no spacing, you know, didn't have the best of teammates. He could be a very, very intriguing pick. And I would not be surprised if the Pistons went and got him at five. Obviously, there's people like Shade and Sharp. The question there, can you take the high schooler? Can you take a man with no footage? Now, we know that he did practice. We know that he did play with, you know, Pro-Am and AAU and, 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 and other college players. So, you know, that's not the end-all, be-all. We've seen other high school players come in and make a difference. But the questions are still there. And Troy Weaver is very calculated. Troy Weaver knows player development. He knows player talent when he sees it. He's a really, really, really good scout's eye, and he's on the scene. He sees these players going. And one of the cool things is that Troy is seeing these players play when they're young. So he knows which ones have a leg up on the others, bro. He knows which ones that, that if Isaiah Stewart walks around, he knows which of the other players in his peer group are like, oh, shoot, that's Isaiah Stewart. And that stuff matters, man. It really does. I know that some people, they, you, know, you might not think too much on these intrinsic things, but as like a former basketball player, college basketball player, and play with Pro-Am, play – you know, with some NBA players as well, namely Steve Francis up in Maryland, um, you know, in, in some runs and some summer runs, you you, you got to understand how these guys think, man. The, the mental aspect, the mental part of the game matters. And Troy is going out there and getting guys who we see, they're not breaking underneath the mental pressure. They're not. Killian Hayes not even breaking. He got to learn the game, but even he's not breaking. We see this guy starting to break through more than he's starting to break. Sadiq Bey break through more than break. And these guys are working on new things. Isaiah Stewart break through more than break. That's what you got to look at when you are talking about Troy Weaver and how he looks at talent, man. Look, and, you know, look, maybe, maybe he's a better talent evaluator with the draft than he is in free agency or with, you know, these trades. Well, all we have to really, really go on right now is the Jeremy Grant one. That trade, that signing did, it, it proved its worth. You know, the other signings, we still have some things to look at, but we've seen that the ways he signed them, they didn't really cost the Pistons much of anything. And Troy Weaver has proven I can get out of any contract at any time. Every year he's been here, we didn't have cap space except for the first one. Uh, when we got rid of Drummond, or, or at least cleared him off, we still had Blake Griffin here. Um, but you guys, think about all that went down. Think about it. And every year we wound up signing somebody big. That's Troy Weaver. So we can't look at the moves that he makes and the things that he does and say, oh, my God, that's the end all be all. Look, we're going to have our reactions. We're going to say, man, what were you thinking? And then I guess that's the question. We got to wait. When we get to that end, we will see what Troy is trying to do. Hey, so look, man, let me know what you guys want at five. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Hey, my name is Detroit Kool-Aid for sports, for what we're Pistons, for the whole crew, man, that's rocking with us, and for the Table Talk crew. Hey, see you all later.